everyone, it is Mama Willow Gaming here today, and I am about, just about to showcase the new updates for Path of Titan. So here we do have the patch notes for the game, and it's very few unlike last time, but here are the patch notes for today's update. Update the textures and animations for Alioramus, Sukobimus, Camptosaurus, and Latina Venetrix. Added new abilities for many dinosaurs, including Call of the Night Terrors and Midnight Hunter for Raptors. Updated Gondor map with new points of interest and quests, including updates to the Swamp Deserts and Stego Mountain area. So we are starting with the Alio Ramus and the updates and whatnot, and how the remodels also look. So as you can tell already, the other model never had these crests over here, nor the little spines on its nose. It was only the speed variant that had this. Here is the balanced version of the Alio. Here is the defense. It looks a lot better than the last defense model. It does have that little head on top and it doesn't look bald as one of my friends say it. And then here's the speed, a lot more thinner and Honestly, to me, it looks a lot more menacing as well. <laughs> but, um... Look at that. Looks freaking amazing. So, we are going to go in-game later on this video and see their new updated animation. And as well with the new abilities that they have. So here is the new model. Uh, not the new model for um, Metri Cantosaurus. But the only reason why I'm going to start with Metri this time is because they also, I believe, got new abilities. So let's check that out. Um character and here you can change your like you know your gender and as well as your subspecies um did they also update metri oh you used to look so much rounder but anyways let's get into the abilities the head, there is Venom Bite, which, you know, a bite that attacks, the attack that applies Venom, but then you also have Viper Strikes, fast attack that causes light damage and Venom. So, with this one, we will try that one out. Twilight Menace, gain 15% increased stamina regeneration throughout the night. Front Limb, you know, there was always that one, so we'll put that in there. Hide. There is future scales. Attackers take poison damage. And lightweight scales increase speed. You know, you, you decrease it. So, this one is actually a really good for those who, you know, attack your Metri, but they take venom and attack damage while you are. Here's the same tail and everything. There is no abilities for the voice, unfortunately. I'm sad about metabolism. Same thing. Um, I'm actually really sad that there's. <laughs> but, um, senses. This one gains. This is the only thing that they added for this one. But let's go into admin panel and change it to night. So it is. We will run around. Also, Metri does not seem that fast like it used to. You can see how fast the... You can already see the thing regenerating as well. Um, Cause it's nighttime. But let's go on to the actual remodels and their animations and whatnot. 
So we are starting with Alio. Their trot looks so much better and not it doesn't look small like the other model and you can see that the tail moves as well but if you run like this it literally looks like it is running directly for you and you can even look on the side it looks so much better and even through the front and whatnot um their z walk is just the slower version of their um trot Their animations are still quite the same, but let's check out the calls. So it's almost the same animation, really. Um. Look at those arms move. Um, then there's also the stretch. Here's the look. And then you have the normal friend call. And that's pretty much it for the Alio. But we will check out their um, abilities. Let's go check that out now. There is a new one for the legs. There's traction, increases turning speed by 20%, decreases stamina recovery by 30%, but then there's leap. Increases jump height and decreases fall damage. So we will definitely check that one out. There's only really the dense feathers for this one. Um, then there's ambush. Your first attack when not in combat deals increased damage. So I'm guessing you have to crouch for that one. Um, tail, there's the same tail attack and then you still have the tyrant's roar. Um, I can add dense feathers. And then tail attack causes not back. Um, but let's try them out. Not to mansion. How do each? And it's the same thing here. You can change it to male, female, but you lose a literal whole growth stage. I'm not sure what the male, but I know for the subspecies you do lose a whole growth stage and whatnot. Um, here are the male variant coats. And then here are the female ones. You know, just a lot more duller in color. Um, but yeah. So let's do this. I'm pretty sure you have to do it in crouch. Or are they also a night owl? No, they're not. So, you basically take increase. And with the defense hide, it does not seem to be any slower anymore. I don't think. Here's a tail swip, and you know, regular tyrant's roar. Um, but yeah, that is it for the Alio, basically. Let's get on to the next dino. So, Latin Avenatrix is the next dino for these update. Its trot looks so much faster, and just look at that. This is it on its Z walk, like you know, when you press Z, it's a lot more slower walk, but then you go into the normal walk and it's- oh. <laughs> it looks a lot faster. Then you see the running animations as well from the back 
and the front. Here's the front. At least it still has its head bob like the other one, but it's not as defined as that one at all as the old model. I found the old model really cute, but I'm like, as soon as ha being in game with this, this one's gonna grow on me for sure. Here are the calls. So really nothing has changed, but they do look a lot more menacing. So they do look a lot more menacing, especially the defense one. I've always really loved their three call. Here's their R call, or their chat call. So just like normal, here's their shaking. Still the shaking animation, here's their... Let me scratch myself at the same time, kind of groom myself kind of thing. Um, here's the question mark. And then here is the same love. And those are basically the calls. Now, because they have done an update and this is one of the the other night terror, we will go ahead and go sleep a uh, character let's see how all these holy shit i'm more interested in oh my god they've actually i believe updated that one kind of it looks a lot more like a raven like i said you can change your defense whatnot abilities here are the senses Moonlight Hunter, which gains gain 50% increased damage and 10% 10% increased movement speed during the night. Metabolism is scavenger or hyper carnivore. Hide gain 15 50% increased bleed and venom heal rate during night. Legs, there's no abilities for that category. Then there's the tail fan. I would actually really like to see the tail fan in here and the voice. The bark increases the attack of all raptors in your group within 30 meters for 15 seconds. They will stack up to 10 times. Call of the Night Terrors. Every Latin of Inatrix in your group gains 15% increased stamina recovery and 15% increased damage for one minute. Stacks up to 10 times can only be used during the night. Um... There's nothing for legs at all. I'm kind of sad. Then there's Hiss. Reduces incoming damage by 20% for 30 seconds. So that is also a good one to add on top with the increasing the damage. So they have changed the biting sound. Holy shit. But here is... They look a lot more like they are flying. It looks like they also increased the speed on them too as well. Their jumping sounds are a little bit more high-pitched. From what I noticed. Look at this little night terror run. And here is their um, ability call. Do I even have it on? No, I don't. <laughs> oh my god. I feel so stupid. Definitely a fucking night terror. Oh my god, I am beyond excited for this. Holy shit. Um, but yeah. 
this is definitely and look at their turn now too it was never that so sideways but holy shit look at it now this is what happens when you put me on a latin of Benetrix and i'm in love with it but that is it boys for the latin of Benetrix. let's go on to the next dino so here we have it with the new model for the Suko Mimeth. Um I'm really not in the best area for this shit. Um Let's get up here. So as you can tell for the Z walk, it is slow really really slow then you have the normal trotting walk when you start in game with and then you do have the running which is a lot bigger i'm getting stuck on a rock but which is a lot longer than what it used to be their speed hasn't changed at all so that's at least a good thing um from it but here is the updated Suko model animations and whatnot. We will go with the calls and then the new ability. Really, calls haven't changed much. So that is it for their broadcast. Really the animations hasn't really changed at all. Um, but let's try out and see their new abilities. Senses, nictating membrane, see clear underwater, or deal 10% increased damage to wet targets. But who would rather see clear underwater or deal 10% increased damage to a target? I'd rather see clear underneath water, in all honesty. Here's a normal claw attack, their hide, and piff, bleh, dry out much slower while on land. Increase swim speed and swim turning like normal, really. And let's try this as well. Legs, webbed feet, increase swim speed by 10% and decreases swim stamina drain by 20%. Tail, tail attack or tail paddle increases swim speed and turn speed by 10%. So these are all new like updates for them specifically. <laughs> um, There is quite a few updates but if we go into admin panel go into spectator oh, i'm in great grappling already um let's go to admin panel and return the dinosaur i'll be in water this Look at how they are swimming and how they just free fall swim. Look at that. And you can see much clearer underwater as well. Like, look at these beasts. 
I would definitely be scared if I saw one of these come up on me. Definitely. Um, but yeah, that is it for the Suko. Now let's get on to the Camptosaurus. So here is the Campto now. You can tell that it's a little bit bigger than the last model and whatnot. You can see how it already walks and whatnot. Here is when you press the Z walk. And then this is its running animation. It looks a lot more faster as well than the other model. And all that. And their biting sounds a little bit cute as well. Their jumping actually does not lose stam at all. Um, but let's set mark um character like you know all these senses there's no abilities for this category no metabolisms either forager or herbivore hide resident scales tough skewed So you can basically kind of be a defense and just have like, you know, hop away. This does use them and I'm actually really excited to use this one specifically. No back limb so far, but alert call. Group members heal 20% increased damage with their next attack when out of combat. So here. We will also do the calls. Hold on. <laughs> um. Wait. They changed it. No way. They changed the call. This used to be the sound of the old two call. Yeah, they still have their old shake command. Look at them stretch. Looking fucking adorable. Oh my lord. And then, you know, there's just the normal call and whatnot. But let it let's go and try the bunny hop. Look at the bunny hop, guys. What the fuck? It is looking a cute. Okay, let's use it on my HUD instead. And look. Kangaroo hop! It looks fucking cute! I was mostly excited to try this out. Holy shit. I think- oh no, never mind. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, that is the kangaroo hop, guys. I'm beyond excited. Um, but yeah, that will be it for today's video though, but, um, feel free, <laughs> feel free to leave any suggestions and comments on what you guys would want me to update on and showcase. Um, but after this video, I'm probably only going to do every dino in singular form and do a more in-depth um update video on that specific dinosaur um but yeah t that is today's update video and holy shit i am excited specifically excited to do these on my own server and the other realism heavy realism server i do also play on on wwd um which 
that episode is going to come out sometime this week. It's already updated. It's already uploaded to YouTube. I just need to do um, the thumbnail for it. So that will be coming out later to, uh, this week. And it is with the um, old model for Latino Venetrix. But look out for that video. So that will be it for today's video. Um, if you want to see more, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a like if you really like this video. Leave a comment down below saying what you liked about today's video and what would you like to suggest for next video uh, for next for the next video or any video after that. Um, but yeah, leave some comments. Leave some suggestions. What did you like about today's video? What dinosaur remodel did you like from today's update? This is going to be up and posted by today. Same video I filmed it. Same video that the same time that... Same day I meant that the update came out. Might be later than the update came out. We all know that. We, you know... The video is coming out. Um, but yeah. It's today's video. Today's update. And everything's fucking fantastic. But if you guys want to join... And subscribe to see more. Please come thinking about joining the pack. And yeah. Hope you all have an amazing day. Hope you really like do really like this video. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. The next up remodel on this list is Latin Avenatrix. I am literally just going by order in how they come by. Um, so Latin Avenatrix is the next one that's coming up. Here's the new updated model. It looks more chicken-like, if you know what I mean. Um, and it looks a lot more thinner and whatnot. And I've tested out the animations beforehand for making this video. And let me tell you, I'm already in love. Um, here's the balance variant. The speed variant has more of a nose dip, I think, unlike the other one. And then we have the defense variant. And with the defense variant, they do have the feathers in the back of their legs right here. Well, the other model did not have that. Um, but also, I think all the sounds are the same, but we will test that later on in the video. But here is the updated Latin Avenatrix model. The next dino to receive the love on their remodel is the Sukomimus. Here's the Sukomimus and all its glory. It literally looks a bit more chonkier. And the arms are not so close to its chest like how it used to. And the teeth are more sticking out unlike the other model. But here's the balanced version of it. Um, and one of its calls, I'm guessing. Here is the speed variant. It is a little bit more skinnier than the balance. And then we have the defense model, which is thick. <laughs> and it also really shows in the tail as well. Like, big time. Not just in the body. But it shows well into that... It is... It, you can tell... By just the look of the tail mostly, and the models are also more redefined, saying like, oh, that's a defense Suko. Like, if you were to go and fight something, like, you know, you would think twice and all that, and everything. So this is the new updated model for the Suko Um We are on to the next one, which is a Camptosaurus. So guess what? The Camptosaurus. <laughs> um, they received a remodel and as well as a size bigger than what they were before. Which, in the video that I was watching in my last update video, it said that it was rivaling Pachycephalosaurus's speed. So here is the Camptosaurus. Here is the balanced version, the speed. And then you have the defense. Um, I really enjoy the speed one just because, you know, I'm more speedy to <laughs> run away from things. 
But yeah, this is the updated um, Camptosaurus model. I'm really excited to see what their animations are like. 